Hey, welcome to my 1.4 million dollar home here in Beijing. I don't own this place, but based on the size and the location, it should be listed at around 1.5 million US dollars. So come on in, have a look around, and let me know at the end of the tour if you would pay this much for this place. If you saw the previous home tour, you might remember that that video was made in collaboration with Dreamy, and in that video, I showed you their cordless vacuum cleaner. This video is also in collaboration with Dreamy because they didn't only send me their cordless vacuum cleaner, they also sent me their robot vacuum cleaner, and I'll show you that one a little bit later in the video. When you first come in, you see these frames and poses right away. These are all from France and Miguel and I bought them on our first real trip together out of China. It was in 2012 and we got these cute little posters that we really like and that you can see right away when you walk in and they bring back all the good memories of Paris. Then here we have a shoe rack, a little shoe rack. As you can see, not all shoes fit in there. My boots are just so big, they don't fit. We got a little basket for our keys, masks, and this is a second-hand one. We bought it at the roundabout, a second-hand store here in Beijing. Here we have a little bench, and you might have seen it in one of the other apartment videos. We keep masks here, backpacks, a blanket, all kind of things, and it's super easy and comfortable to sit on than when you put on your shoes. All right, right across from me is the kitchen. When you first walk into the kitchen, you see this little shelving unit right away. Uh, we bought it new because we needed some more storage space and it fits right here perfectly fine. Um, and it's all our appliances. The coffee machine, coffee bean grinder, another uh, French press, toaster, juicer, a little toaster oven, and some other things inside. And here's our fridge. It's nice and big. And our fridge has all of the magnets that I like to collect during our travels. Um, the Philippines, Harbin. I think Harbin was the last one I was able to add because after that we have not been able to travel, sad times. So yeah, this makes this fridge look a little bit nicer. Water and our cooking area and our new cupboards. New in quotation marks. Um, they were a really bright yellow orange color and we didn't like it. So what we did, we bought like sticky paper that we put on. It has like a little bit of a wood pattern. It's black. And you can see how we stuck that here um, to make them look nice. And we also changed the knobs on the doors. They were super simple handles, but now they're little cute knobs. We also got this one. It matches the other one. And because we don't have any cupboards on the walls above the countertop we had to get this because we have more stuff like food that we had to find a spot for so we went with this as it matches the other one it's blue and it pulls everything together okay let's move to the living room which you can already see right here welcome to the living room this is our living room and we decided to put the vacuum the d9 right here um, because it needs a lot of space around it and in front of it. So here is the docking station and from here it can just easily go into the living room, the hallway, wherever it needs to go to clean our house. So let's go to our dining area. We finally have a dining table and chairs. Um, in our previous apartment we did not have a dining table. So Miguel and I are both really excited to have this dining table and we have used it a lot already. And we got matching chairs. We decided to go with a black and golden theme. I think that worked really well. And as you can see, there are still some frames that need to be put up. I said it was almost done, 90% done. Uh, and one of the things that we still need to do is put up frames. This one is, as you might be able to see from New York, another one of our trips that we went on. Um, let's move on to one of the things that I think is the cutest of the house. This piece of furniture was here already. The landlady owns it and I really liked it so I wanted to keep it. It has kind of all kinds of things. Um, our pig, little pig family, family photo. Um, it has some cutting so 
we're gonna put those in soil soon yeah i really like this thing and here is an old couch um that we kept we've had it since 2013 and it's been with, so it's been with us for a long time for a couple of years now and it has gone to multiple apartments as one of the cats takes a big leap down hey where are you coming from and we're planning on getting a black cover for this couch so it will match the rest of the house here we have our bookshelf also old uh, piece that we've had for a while with some books and with a shelf for a photo album that my mom gave me for our wedding and this is a box with all our wedding stuff like card from family thank you card that we send out to all the people who attended our wedding i really like this photo i think we need to get it framed and put it up somewhere in the house and yeah some so some books and some other knickknacks that we have collected over the years here a great couch that we got second hand as well um it's quite comfortable and it really pulls everything together um the carpet that is gray with some golden lines and different um shades of gray and then here we have the uh, tv stand that we just got we had to wait for that a long time so that's why we couldn't make this video sooner um and we really like it it's not black but it does have the golden accents we have a whole section for all of our games behind me is the area for the cats which is not that interesting but very important the robot has two functions it's not only a vacuum but also a mop which I think it's going to be really useful with two cats in the house so it will be a lot easier hopefully to keep the place clean because those two girls they shed a lot of hair so hopefully with uh, the, va the vacuum the robot vacuum it will be easier to keep the place clean but let's move on we are now in the hallway leading up to the two bedrooms and what we did here is actually paint a lot this frame was a very weird yellow brown color very ugly so we decided to paint it white and it looks so much better it makes this hallway really bright and now the only thing we want to do here in the hallway is to put up these two posters that we bought in north korea where we went a couple of years ago i think they would look really good here uh, with the bright colors Okay, going into the office that we have. We're now in the office and here is another shelving unit that we bought. We have uh, quite some files here, some books for learning Chinese. And in here, you will find all our camera gear that we need to find a place for. So we got this and it looks quite organized. One more thing that we need to frame. We have an air purifier here. And then this is my desk for when I have to do work or when I edit my videos. Okay, moving on to the bedroom. Now we're in the bedroom. Um, here we also painted the door frames and the actual doors, the front and the back, because they were also super yellow. We didn't do much here. Actually, everything was here. We just bought little nightstand lights. Right behind me is a little patio area where we hang our laundry to dry. I like that it has a door that I can close and um, that the laundry doesn't have to be in the apartment. Let's move on to the last room of the house, the bathroom. This is a little area right before the bathroom and we also painted things white here for the same reason. And what we did, if you remember the previous house or the first one, and remember the dreamy that we got, we have now mounted it on the wall. So here is the vacuum and it's super easy because it doesn't take up a lot of space this way. Uh, you can just grab it, take whatever piece you want to use, put them together and start to vacuum right away. So that is really nice that we can just have it here in this um, storage area. And as I have the vacuum out again, I think it's a good time to tell a little bit more about the robot. 
So I just got this package from Dreamy. It is a robot vacuum and I'm going to unbox it. Very excited to have a robot vacuum. Here it is. It's the robot vacuum D9. It looks really nice. Let's check it out. The D9 has lots of awesome functions. One of the things that it has, it comes with an app. You can download an app and it will tell you which areas need to be cleaned and you can remotely control it. And it is a two in one. It is not only a vacuum, it is also a mop. So that's gonna be super convenient. Here we got a side brush, the water tank and a mop pad all in here. And then this is the actual robot. Wow, it's pretty heavy. I really like how wide it is. Oh, yeah, it is heavy. Look at it. A power cord, very important. And the charging dock. Yes, that's the ideal thing too. You just put it to the dock and once the robot needs to be charged again, it will go back to the dock and start charging itself. Let's go into the bathroom because here we will see one of the biggest changes in the house. You might remember that when we first saw this bathroom, there was a tub in here and a hot water heater and that I could not fit in there. I'll show you the clip now. But right now we have an actual shower with glass sliding doors. They took out the water heater and now we just have hot water from the city, um, which is quite nice and I can probably shower here. So we're pretty happy with this. Other than having the tub removed and placing these glass sliding doors in, we haven't really done much in this bathroom other than cleaning it. So let's go back to the living room. Moving forward, I will be sharing videos about sustainability, but I did want to show you what the apartment looks like now before we were going to start that. Let me know in a comment what you think of how we decorate it and make sure to like this video if you liked it and to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.